Shut up and sit down. Welcome back, Dakar fans. Hey, and you, that random person that just clicked on the link to view this video. If this is your very first time watching a Dakar video of mine, stick around. Don't click off. You're stuck now. This is an hour long video. You have to watch the whole thing now. Uh, you know, stick around. You're going to learn some stuff about one of the greatest races and sporting events in the world. Uh, this game, it tries to convey some of that same same stuff uh, in a video game uh, that they have to go through in real life. Uh, and uh, yeah, stick around, man. Don't don't click off. You want to watch this at, le at least more than a minute. You got to stick around for at least more than a minute. <laughs> this is an hour long video, though, so you're not doing anything for the next hour. You need to watch this. OK, subliminal message over. OK, guys, it's stage 13. There is this one and one more after this. Stage 12, we gained over 30 minutes on the leaders. So we are up into, I want to say eighth place now. Uh, we're still about, ooh, I, we're still about 50 minutes behind uh, the leader. I think Sam Sunderland is still leading. Uh, so we're just trying to gun it uh, as fast as we can. We got to make up time. Podium is within reach, I think. Overall win, ooh, highly, highly unlikely. Don't think it's going to happen. All right, so all, all my new viewers here, you stuck around this far. Good. Okay, so the Dakar, they call it the Dakar because it was, uh, it used to start in Paris and they raced to Dakar, Senegal uh, in Africa. That was the original. Uh, about 12 years ago or so, they moved to South America. Uh, it started in Argentina, went through Bolivia, Peru, Chile, um, those countries for the last 12 years. Next year, 2020, they are moving the whole race to Saudi Arabia. Uh, they have a five-year deal with Saudi Arabia to run it there, um, but they want to get some other countries in the Middle East involved. Uh, so that's where it's going to be next year. Uh, so what it is is really 14 stages it's two weeks of running just about they run it every january uh they like you're watching me ride the bikes here the bikes the bikes and the quads they're out there by themselves um you have teammates that can help you uh you know if you get into trouble um and competitors will help each other if they really need help you know getting getting unstuck uh you'll even have car drivers helping bikers, uh, big rigs helping, you know, cars, etc. Uh, but what it is, is you have to follow a road book to various waypoints. So you see in the, the lower right there, the, that's my road book. Uh, on the real bike, uh, they have it on their uh, instrument cluster in the front. Uh, and this thing, they can advance it. So when they get to a certain waypoint, like uh, it's a certain kilometer distance um, or a GPS uh, waypoint it will they can then advance it and go to the next waypoint etc they have to hit all these waypoints or they incur penalties um so it's an, a navigation thing versus speed uh you can you can be the fastest rider in the world but if you can't navigate you're not going to do good in, in the dakar and oh man and i just hit a tree uh, so that's what this game is all about. You know, you got to think, you got to learn how to navigate, uh, look for waypoints along the way. You get to know, you know, certain things in that road book, what you're looking for. Um, I think right now it says it's, uh, I'm on a, I'm on a windy road, uh, PS that's uh piece, piece squiggly. I'm going to call it, but that means it's a winding road. Um, so, and it's double danger and it's more or less visible that I'm looking for at my kilometer 36.22. So uh, I'm going to make a hard left at, uh, with some trees and stuff and we'll see, we'll see how it is coming up on it. Right there, hard left. Oh, damn tree. Okay. Another good thing. This, this game is the first, uh, First game in this uh, for the, the Dakar Rally by uh, Big Moon Entertainment, um, a studio out of Spain, I believe. 
Um, as far as the environments went, really good. Uh, as far as the physics go, very, very bad. <laughs> You're not playing this game for the physics, at least in this iteration. If they can improve the physics, man, you could have so much fun with this game uh, just as a free ride uh, through these environments. These, these environments are huge. Uh, again, like I said, there's 14 stages and there was two free DLC rally uh, add-ons, uh, two additional events. Um, and like I said, each stage, like this stage is going to take me almost an hour to complete. Uh, the stages range anywhere from most, most of them, 20 some minutes, 30 minutes, all the way to an hour. One of them took me over an hour to complete. Uh, so man, it was really fun. Um, so again, you're, you know, you're trying to navigate in this game and I hope I'm not boring my regular viewers. I'm just trying to get these guys who have been watching, they kept with it. They clicked on this, they clicked on the thumbnail because they thought it looked interesting and they're still here. If you guys clicked away, I'm, uh, I probably can't find you. But anyways, <laughs> you shouldn't click away. You should watch this whole thing. And if you're not gonna watch, just, uh, just put your phone in your pocket and let it run the whole hour so I can get the credit for you watching my whole video. That would help out a lot. Yeah, like I said, the physics in this game are ooh, not too good. Uh, the bikes do not handle very well. Uh, the controls are a little weird. The braking doesn't work good. Um, they look good. Uh, the crashes are fun when you crash. Uh, the rider will go flying off the bike and you will have to uh, run back to the bike. Um, you don't have to pick it up. It, it uh, does that itself. Um, but it's, it's one of the better crash animations and systems to get back on your bike instead of just instantly respawning back on it like most uh, motocross and supercross games do. And again, it's the environments are the big thing here. Just, uh, man, you have some beautiful scenery to look at. It's, it's hard to actually admire it when you're trying to rip down these trails and roads uh, and hit, hit all your waypoints. And if you get lost, yeah, there's times in this rally I have gotten lost and you lose so much time. Um, yeah, like I said, you lose so much time that it really pisses you off. <laughs> I've been lost a couple of times and man, trying to find your way. It's just like almost a stroke of luck. You, you find you got to like kind of like turn around, do a 180, kind of look at your road book. How far did I drive past that waypoint? And then you got to hit head back the opposite way. Try to remember your landmarks and hopefully then start over from that last waypoint and try to find it, uh, find out where you're supposed to go. This stage here is pretty fast with all this vegetation and trees and you saw there's a lot of, whoa, a lot of Y's uh, taken off. Um, got to pay attention to which ones you got to do. This one again, it's, it's saying, uh, I'm going to call it the piece squiggly, but that's uh, the road is winding. And I need to head roughly about 78 degrees on the, uh, there we go. We're going to take a right here, right at the branch at 75. And I think that's actually, okay, waypoint valid. There we go. Take a right, take another right at 80. E3, it's narrow, narrow and squiggly, narrow and a winding road. Yep, it's definitely winding. And again, these bikes do not handle really well, so keeping on this winding road in this game, very tough.
Yeah, so man, I'm glad you guys that clicked on the thumbnail are still here. Still watching. You made it 10 minutes. Only like 40 some, 50 some more to go. So, you know, if you're at work right now, just put this on the background. Put it on your second monitor. Uh, maybe put something, you know, like a spreadsheet really close to it. So then uh, if your boss comes, you can hit the button to, to hide. Alt tab it to your, uh, to your spreadsheet to cover this up. Um, perfect place to watch it at work. Uh, just cruise with this in the background. I'm going to shut up for a while and you can just watch, watch the scenery go by. And then, uh, yeah, thanks again for watching guys.
right, so we are coming up on our uh, final waypoints in this part of the stage. This is a two-part stage. Uh, that happens a lot in the Dakar. They'll do one stage, and then they have to drive on public roads or other trails, most likely public roads or highways, to get to the start of the second portion of the special stage. Uh, so we are coming up on the halfway point of this stage. I am actually leading it right now. A little bit ahead of uh, Matthias Wachner there from, uh, I think he's Austrian. Here we go. Coming to the, the control points here. Right, part of the special is complete. And by the way, I am in writing as Ricky Brabick, Team HRC from America. He had a rough one last year. He uh, had a mechanical somewhere in the engine or transmission. He was on his way to win. And uh, man, maybe in 2020, let's hope. All right, so this portion of the special, we have a lot more, a lot more waypoints to go. So Dakar, okay, this we are now in a speed zone. Uh, speed zones can be the death of you in this race. Uh, stage five, that's why I'm so far back. I, I lost an hour and 20 minutes because of speed penalties. Back on stage five, I just blew through some towns, didn't even realize there were speed zones and uh, picked up some penalties. I was very surprised and I didn't want to run the rally, the, the stage again. Uh, to avoid them, so I just took the lumps, and I have been fighting my way back ever since. Uh, it's been really tough. I haven't really gained that much. Uh, the last stage was my best comeback. I gained 30 minutes on these guys, and I am trying again. And I, I got this stage, and one more blew that corner. We gotta see what we can do. And again, for you other uh, first timers uh, watching this game, oh man, my controller just went off and back on. The uh, the terrains vary greatly on this uh, this rally. Uh, so right now, I mean, you're seeing we're a lot of trees, a lot of vegetation, a lot of winding roads. Um, the very beginning of the rally, it was like four four straight. Uh, stages, maybe five uh, sand dunes. Sand dunes is all you rode on, pretty much. Uh, I did some trails, but huge, massive sand dunes. Um, that's one of the hallmarks of the Dakar is the dunes. Wherever they go, you're going to go through dunes. Uh, either, you know, originally it was like through the Sahara Desert. Uh, this one in uh, Peru, or was it Peru or Chile? One of those. There's huge sand dunes. Uh, pretty amazing. And in the dunes, you have to pretty much, you know, you have to follow your, your cap headings a lot more diligently than, than on these roads that you're following. Uh, when you're just out in the dunes, you're trying to hit a heading and the waypoint at a certain distance, Ooh, it can be very difficult. I got lost so many times. We are in another speed zone. These are the worst part of this game. I kind of wish they weren't I know they're doing it because they want to make it like the real rally but man they really they really don't add anything to a game uh, I guess if you're a real enthusiast and you want a sim sim type thing 
Uh, yeah, add them, but man, I wish it was an option to turn them off. It just... Uh, you've done one speed zone, you've done them all. This is what I'm trying to say. It's It doesn't add anything to the, a game. This is still a game, not a real life uh, simulation, so... Speed zone, see these damn. Yep, another one coming up at uh, five thirty six. So again, the uh, scaling uh, in this world, these maps are 132nd, so one kilometer uh, driven in the game world is equal to 32 real kilometers. Uh, so that's how, you know, you kind of see the kilometers tick by a lot faster than they would in real life. Yeah, we're not really going 120 miles an hour. Uh, you know, a lot of these places we're going whatever it is, uh, 60 miles an hour or something. Ooh, almost drove, drove through the farmer's field. Probably would get in trouble for that. Ooh, I did go through the field. Sorry, Mr. Farmer. Um, if there's a vegetable stand up here, I'll, I'll grab some. It'll be a few dollars. HP, okay, that means uh, horse piece. So French for off piece, which is off the trail, off the track. We are gonna go straight on through the vegetation, uh, a heading of 324. Then we're gonna join up with the road. I don't know why we cut cross country here. There we go. Rejoin the Peace Primary, the main, the main track. All right, we have a double danger coming up. Double danger, triple dangers. Uh, in this game, means probably slow down. There's something coming up, like a river crossing that just one looks like the little, little crossing here. Uh, it could mean sand, uh, you know, a, a mud trap, uh, rocks, a big jump, or something. Uh, here's when I see double danger in this game. I just pin it. Keep it pinned. <laughs> You're probably going to get some air, maybe if it's a jump uh, or a bump, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, there's a little. Oh. Uh, well, see, I kept it pinned. I knew the double danger river crossing was come up. Usually, if it's a river crossing, there's multiple ways to go through it. The straight through the center, it's always a mud trap almost. Uh, I wish they would switch it up a little bit because sometimes the right or the left, you you can go right or left and you won't get slowed down in the mud. I wish they would change it up and maybe you have it random. So uh, you, you kind of have to look, you know, slow down a lot and say, okay, which way, which way is the fastest way? Right, so we are actually, we're still leading the rally. Uh, I'm sorry, not leading, leading the rally. We're leading this stage and... Uh, John Bereda is my teammate at Honda HRC. He is in second place. 
We're at least one waypoint away uh, in front of him and we're six minutes ahead of him. So we left after him, but we passed him. Or overall on this, this whole stage, we have, uh, no, we've gotten to these waypoints a lot faster than him. QT the primary piece so we are going to get off the primary road we're going to QT it quit it is what I say uh, so we are going to quit the primary road we're going to get on that secondary one right here and more or less visible we're going to make another hard left on back onto the primary road coming up right here I guess this is the primary. Yep, this looks like the primary road, so we are on it. Right, another double danger. We're gonna make a right hand turn, a hard one. Ew. Single danger at a four way, it looks like, at 577. Speed zone. I cannot stand those.
All right, are you guys still with me? 40 minutes. If this is your first time, you've made it 40 minutes into this video. And 40 minutes and I will hit a tree head on off the road. I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> I am definitely not going to withdraw from the rally. You have that option if you want in this game. I'm going to choose to restart from the last waypoint. Whoa, and then when it restarted me, it just was going crazy. Um, yeah, could you imagine? I guess you could do a hardcore hardcore run through this game and say if you get damage, uh, terminal damage or like that, like I guess it was terminal damage or I got injured when I hit that tree, uh, you would have to quit the rally. Um, that would not be fun. Anyways, yeah, I don't know why why I did that. I wasn't I must have been paying attention to something. Oh, these damn speed zones again. Alright guys, I'm gonna check back with you in a little bit. Let's just watch the scenery go by and go through these speed zones. i I freaking hate them. Actually, this is a passage control zone. Uh, it's really weird. They put them. If you see, they're the yellow ones that are on the left hand side there, all the uh, waypoints. I don't know why they put this one at uh, waypoint 74. And then there's another waypoint, uh, passage control zone at waypoint 82. I don't know why they put them so far into the stage and why they have them so close together. Like, why not? Why not spread them out a little bit? Oh, I thought we were going to get on the pavement. Let's see. We are, we are extending our lead. We are now six waypoints ahead of second place. Uh, so we're we are five minutes on five, six minutes on time ahead of him, but six whole waypoints. So that's just going to, that's just going to compound. Once we finish the rally, we're still already, we're already just on time, six minutes ahead. Cause we left, uh, six minutes, uh, after uh, second place there. And so he's still going to have to do those additional waypoints to even finish the rally, to finish the stage. That's just going to give us extra time on him. I don't know where John Beretta is at in the overall standings. Um, I don't think he's up there that far. He might be in front of me though. Cause like I said, I'm probably eighth right now. All right, let's, let's see if we can make up some more time.
Try to get out of the speed zones. Man, I hope that is the last speed zone. Getting close to the end. We have a couple waypoints to go before the end of the special stage. Oh, yes, windy piece, double a single danger, more or less visible. And WPC, I believe that means it is a GPS waypoint. Um, if I am not mistaken. Target fixation on that uh, that other tree. If you've ever ridden motorcycles, you know what I'm talking about. Street bikes, especially. Uh, you go where you look. So if you look at that tree directly, you're gonna hit it. Uh, so if you're if you mess up a corner or something, don't look where you're going. Look where you want to go, and uh, the bike will follow. Your your body will do what it needs to do to get to that. To get to where you need to go, where you want to go, uh, within reason. Right now, this is a long distance between these two waypoints. I need to go from 733 to 751. That's a pretty long one. And it's a river crossing, double danger. And I believe it is uphill. What did I just tell you guys? Do not look at the tree. And you guys didn't do it. And you went right into the tree. And now I had to, I had to restart from the last waypoint again. This is actually, that's the worst I have done in a stage as far as withdrawals have gone. I've gotten stuck in the mud once. I had to withdraw. I, I had to restart from waypoint. I did hit a rock, a big rock on another, another stage. I had to restart that. Oh man. It doesn't even let you see the crash animation. I, I guess it would have been too gruesome. Ricky Brabeck would have been, I guess a permanent part of the tree. So they didn't want that to happen to me. There it is. Oh my God. I did not follow my own advice. Uh, blaming the physics, really. The, the bike handling is so bad in this game. Again, but I let it slide because this is the Dakar. I'm a huge Dakar fan. The navigation is what sells this game, the environment. Um, You know, I haven't tried anything else. I'm going to try a different class of vehicle in the future for sure. Uh, I've been told though, I want to, a couple of the DLC rallies, the one in particular, the Ruta, the Ruta 40. I'm going to ride bikes on that one. I think I'm going to switch to the KTM. I'll ride as uh, Toby Price. And uh, after that though, I think I will either do the big rigs or the cars. And I'll try the, uh, I think it's the Inca rally. I will try it as one of those vehicle types. And with those vehicles, uh, you have co-drivers. So they call out the uh, waypoints for you and where you're supposed to go and turn and everything. 
Uh, oh, so here's a way here the river crossing. Take the right way. Still a little muddy. Oh man. Not bad, not bad. I have been stuck in the mud though. Yeah, I have been stuck in the mud and I had to restart from the a waypoint there. I was stuck in the mud. You have a shovel. You can dig yourself out. Somehow I dug myself a bigger hole in this mud puddle. And the electronics got fried on the bike and I couldn't go anywhere. So I had to withdraw or like I did, I restarted from the previous waypoint. So that is a really cool thing about this game. You can damage your bike. Yeah, tires, uh, gearbox, transmission. I don't know. They call it gearbox and transmission, I believe. It's two separate parts, but I don't know what it means. Why is the gearbox and transmission different? <laughs> well, there we go. I ran into the, the flagging there. Stage is over. We did it. Uh, let's see how we did. No panel. Oh, two minutes of repair time. Yeah, I did repair, I think, my tires on this one. Uh, 53 minutes. I was faster. Uh, let's see what I did in the overall, though. 1304 versus 1237. We gained a ton of time. We are roughly 30 minutes behind now. Man, we only have one more stage to try to gain 30 minutes. I don't know if we can do it. Man, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that subscribe button. Leave me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments. I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Thanks a lot.